Alan, welcome back. Uh, I keep getting phone calls when I'm in the middle of recording. The thin cold mist brushed his face as he stepped outside. London weather could be cruel, but it was the kind of cruelty he could handle. Now, we're going to the study. I prefer doing the study before the guest room, because the guest room is well lit, and the study is not. And to me, that leads to the greatest uh, cumulative sanity, though I haven't mathematically tested this. In the box. Chest. Ah, chest. Piracy not intended. Uh, so, that's not Alright, as far as I know, that's the only stuff in there. This kind of reminds me of the archives. Oop, note. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, the Johan Vaya, the most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for for the last twenty odd years. It is it is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was told about an underground Mithraic temple crowned with an unearthly crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast was not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside, and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigma enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, the most, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch to the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. This beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would soon be spared. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal, black with the leaves of cinder, the ground covered with in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising sun and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. A guardian, the Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, wait, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized you, I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Funny. He was the guy I mentioned earlier, who denied we're going to Altstadt. It's cold. That was so cold. cold. How's my sanity? Not good. Plant oil! Am I like a fool? I'll go over here. I splash break. By the way, do you want to hate Alexander even more? Let's see what you have to offer. Sense it. It's definitely there. Don't open that one. It's full of skulls and you'll get scared. This is what the portrait looks like on low sanity, by the way. On on better sanity, it looks pretty normal, really. Anatomy Frontiers, 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would le prove less of a hassle to acquire. This all, by the way, ties in very nicely with uh, a, the, the sh Remember short story collection. That comes with the game. Now then, pick up a chair. 
Screw you, window. It's in the box. Oh, and now that we have slightly higher sanity, let me show you that portrait again. Not so bad. More handsome as the other one, though. Hop. Hop. That's the shadow. Hop. 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 And hop. Yay. We got through without falling to our death. Oh, look, another memory capsule. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Currently, leaves these memory capsules is a bit troubled. Now, who could that be? These are uh, instructions for the elevator machine. And now we have the flow cycle rod. Yay. Hi. Open. Come here. Uh, no. No. That's, that's better. So, we have everything we need here. And we can go back. Damn you, Lumberjack Shadow! We just need to make our way back across. Hop! 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 And hop. There we go. And that's it for the study. It's a Lumberjack. So, oh no, sorry. Back in the back hall. He climbed out of bed and looked out the window. It was completely dark. He waited, glanced at the old clock, and waited some more. Four o'clock, he thought. It's enough. And now I'm going to stop here, at least for now. For the next part, we'll see uh, the, the guest room, and the shadow just dropped more nasty jam everywhere and turned the fountain to blood. Charming. Anyhow, guest room's up next. See you!